When you're getting pulled into working and doing everything that anyone else is asking for you, trying to people please, what ends up happening is that you can't get any of your own stuff done. You can't get what you have listed for the week ahead to do that's going to help you achieve the goals and targets you've set out for 2019. You can't even get to do your own work for reacting to all the noise that comes in, to reacting to other people's agendas. So we need to get disciplined here. We need to start to really think about how do we manage our time? Hi, Paul McFadden here. So let's talk about the one thing, the one thing that everybody in this universe has. I'm talking about Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Richard Branson. I mean, I could rhyme off loads of successful people. It's the same thing that both you and I and everyone else has, and that is time. How are you going to spend? How are you going to invest? Where are you going to channel and focus your time in 2019 to truly make it your best year yet? That's what I'm going to talk about here. And here's the funny thing. Most people are trying to manage time and you can't manage time. Time is constant. The clock is always ticking. But what you can do, and this is where you're going to be a success or not with what you're trying to achieve, is manage oneself. And once you do that, that's it. The sky's the limit. Once you realise that you cannot stop the clock, once you realise that the only thing, the only thing that separates from you and I, from you and Richard Branson, from you and any successful person that you know, the only thing that separates us is how we utilise our time and how we manage ourselves. Now, you may already have a full-time job. You may already have a full-time business. You may already have fill-in-the-blank, whatever it may be. You may already have problems going on in your life. Who hasn't? We've all got problems. We've all got stories. We've always got shit happening. You may have chaotic things going on behind the scenes. Most people live day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month in a chaotic state. And the reason is, is because, first and foremost, they've got no focus. Secondly, they can't manage themselves. Thirdly, they're working to other people's agenda, not their own. That's the one thing that stops a lot of people from managing their, their, themselves is working to other people's agenda. When you're getting pulled into working and doing everything that anyone else is asking for you, trying to people please, what ends up happening is that you can't get any of your own stuff done. You can't get what you have listed for the week ahead to do that's going to help you achieve the goals and targets you've set out for 2019. You can't even get to do your own work for reacting to all the noise that comes in, to reacting to other people's agendas. So we need to get disciplined here. We need to start to really think about how do we manage our time? How do we really get focused and get disciplined enough to work to our own agenda because it's the same amount of time that we've all got. The clock keeps on ticking and it's what you do with that time. So where are you going to invest your time? I'm going to give you some suggestions to make the most of the time. The same 365 days, the same 24 hours that we all have. We couldn't be any more blessed to be here because the funny thing is we don't know when that clock is going to stop when that clock is going to stop ticking for you and I. We don't know. No one's got a crystal ball. I don't think there's been anybody that's been able to predict their own death. And when we think about that and you truly think about the goals that you want to achieve, when you truly think about what you really want, listen, this is about your life. What do you want to get out of this life? What has to happen to truly make this the best year that you've ever had? my opinion, it's how you manage yourself to make time be efficient, to be more productive, to get more focused. So I'm going to give you a couple of things, a couple of take-homes, a couple of ideas to take on board. The first thing we need to start thinking about is cutting distractions. What distractions were consuming you in 2018 and what can we cut? Are you in lots of groups on Facebook? on other social media platforms, WhatsApp groups? Are you in groups 
that are a lot of noise, a lot of negativity, a lot of you know problems, a lot of people complaining. You need to cut all of that in 2019. You need to be very consciously aware of what you're letting into your mind. Are you wasting a lot of time on social media just flicking through videos and watching shit on YouTube? How much time have you wasted in 2018? Because you keep on putting off. Have you been binging ex in excess on Netflix, Now TV and you know all of this stuff? The first thing that we need to do is become aware of where we are channeling our time. And what I'd recommend you do for a couple of weeks, for one week at least, is track your time. Track your time. And the way I do this is that your diary that you've got on your phone, just put in what you're doing hour to hour. What time did you get up? Are you hitting the snooze button too long? Do you hit the snooze button three times and before you know it, that's 45 minutes later because your snooze button goes off every 15 minutes. There's 45 minutes wasted by hitting the snooze button three times. You've conditioned yourself to need three snoozies before you get your fucking arse out of bed. You need to recondition your mind and get out your bed the second your first alarm goes. Hey, here's a little tip. Set your alarm on the loudest set that can be and set it outside your, set it outside your, your room. If you've got kids, if you've got family members, if your significant other's lying next to you in your bed and that alarm goes off, they're going to kick you out of that fucking bed if you don't go and turn that alarm off. So get out of bed early. So stop hitting the snooze button, be aware of this and then straight away you have then taken advantage of getting up early to take advantage of the full day to get some shit done, to plan your day ahead, to get some fitness in. You need to get some sort of fitness in, go out for a walk, get a gym session in, do something, just move. Ideally listening to some personal development like a podcast or something, an audiobook. Because the more you move, the more you're active, the more your mind starts to switch on. Get some morning study in. Get some study in during the day as well. Dedicate time in 2019 to nurture your mind to learn more information. You don't know what you don't know. How can you make sure you get that promotion? How can you make sure you get several promotions in the, ne in the next year, in 2019? How do you make sure that you can actually go out there and achieve the thing you need to achieve in your business? If you've got a knowledge gap somewhere, whatever it is, make sure that you're taking a knowledge and turning it into a study. Not, not just to consume content, just so you can consume an audiobook or consume an online program. Actually turn it into a study so you can get lessons learned, key insights and lessons learned. And by doing this, you're going to learn a lot. What new skills do you need to pick up that you need to learn this year in 2019? So at the end of this year, you can turn around and look back and go, guess what? I put in a minimum of 365 hours, one hour a day. Some days I put in three hours. Imagine putting in a thousand hours of study in 2019. What will that do for your 2020? If 2019 becomes your best year yet, but you put in a thousand hours of study, what's that going to do for your 2020 and beyond? I mean, it's, even, it's more difficult to comprehend. You need to be aggressive with your study. You need to be aggressive with your time. What if you form the new discipline of getting out of bed early? Going to bed early rather than staying up too late. We all know what happens when we stay up too late. We end up playing on our phones too long. We end up, you know, eating and binging on stuff that we shouldn't be doing. We end up watching the Netflix and all of this kind of stuff. You know, negative patterns are formed late on at night. So get to your bed early so you can wake up early and own the fucking day. That means if you're in full-time employment and you don't want the promotion, you just want to get out of that job, you hate living and day-to-day -day repeating the same shit over and over, you hate going to work, you hate it, hate it, hate it, you look forward to Friday, and you're dreading Sunday night because you need to go to your bed to wake up Monday, then you need to get out of bed early to start winning the game of what you need to do to allow you to be set up to make some money, to pack in that job and follow your dreams and desires. What are you doing in the, in, in, you know, after work? What are you doing when you get the core stuff of your business done? What are you doing to grow yourself as a person? Where are you wasting time? Track your day 
track your week? Can you cluster things together so you're more efficient? Can you block working schedules together so you're not all over the place? Can you start working to your agenda? And the best way to work to your agenda is by planning out your week. If you don't plan your week, you're going to be running around working to other people's agenda, reacting to everyone else other than what you need to do yourself. Get yourself out of all these groups that are not serving you. Get away from all the negativity. How much time are you spending complaining, bitching and moaning with other people? First and foremost, stop that. Secondly, cut those people from your life. Be ruthless about it. Because that's going to be the difference between whether you get super success or none. You're going to make some tough decisions now in the early part of 2019. Don't leave this too late. Start making these conscious decisions and conscious steps now so you can make the most of this year. So start by tracking what you do daily. Where are you wasting time? Where can you get more efficient? Where can you stop reacting? So you can start focusing on truly what's going to serve you and get you to where you want to go. So I hope you really take this on board. I hope you turn this into an exercise and track your time. Once you track your time for one full week, you're going to look back and go, holy shit, I waste so much time. It's frightening. The amount of time that people waste is just unbelievable. So be more efficient. Be more productive. And the only way to do that is self-manage. Manage oneself. And the first way to do that is become aware. And awareness becomes when you start tracking and see where you're spending your time. And when you start to see what's serving you, does by doing this serve me in the greater purpose of what I want to achieve? Or by doing this, that does not serve me and it actually stops me from achieving the thing that I want to do. Create new habits. Create new disciplines. And 2019 will truly be your best year yet. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it. All the best. And bye for now. Yeah.